New research recommends Yellowstone National Park's warm warmth could originate from more profound in the Earth than beforehand assumed. In another paper distributed in Nature Geoscience Today, analysts Peter Nelson and Stephen Grant from the Jackson School of Geosciences at the University of Texas at Austin suggest that Yellowstone's warmth source could originate from a crest stretching out from the center mantle limit, CMB. Further, this potential tuft could be arranged in a zone of material that keeps running from Mexico the distance to the recreation center. Nelson is a graduate understudy in the Jackson School, while Grand is the Carleton Professor of Geophysics. You can read the Matches paper here. To lead their examination, Nelson and Grand dissected seismic information from Earth Scope's U.S. array, which has stations all over North America. As per a Nature official statement, Taking a gander at a mainland scale, the match recognized a long, thin, slanting zone inside the mantle through which seismic waves travel all the more gradually, and which may demonstrate the nearness of uncommonly warm material. You can see an outline of this zone underneath, kindness of nature geoscience. The paper gives a concise outline of the Yellowstone Crest hypothesis, which has been fervently since it was first proposed. Comprehensively, the crest hypothesis holds that Yellowstone's warmth, and, thus, its fountains and hot springs, originates from magma ascending from inside the Earth upward toward the hull. As indicated by Explorer from the University of Utah, that magma sustains into a couple of supply underneath Yellowstone's surface, overflowing with enough material to fill the Grand Canyon of Arizona about 14 times over. Beneath, you can see a cross area of the Yellowstone crest obligingness of Nelson, Grand, and Nature Geoscience. Some portion of the reason this hypothesis has been so challenged with regards to Yellowstone, as per Nelson and Grand, is that Yellowstone has highlights not as per established tuft hypothesis. For example, Yellowstone has an excess of one hotspot track. At that point there's the matter of the stone encompassing this tuft. The Nelson and Grand paper references look into from Tiffany Leonard and Lejeune Liu of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, who contend that a structural plate over the Yellowstone tuft restrains its movement and effect on Yellowstone. Liu, alongside graduate understudies Jai Ashunhu and Guangzhou, distributed a paper not long ago in Nature contending that Yellowstone's warmth is piped from the Pacific coast, a point challenged by analysts at the University of Utah. Some portion of the reason Crest hypothesis is so difficult to demonstrate, as per Nelson and Grand, is on the grounds that tufts are hard to track utilizing conventional techniques. Seismographs and other land gear track two fundamental development rights in the Earth, essential waves and optional, shear waves. P waves can go through any material while S waves just go through solids. In principle, they should stop within the site of tufts since they comprise of superheated, gooey shake. In any case, tufts aren't sufficiently fluid to stop S waves, however they do hinder them. In their paper, the Combine presumes that a tuft ascending from the CMB is a definitive warmth source driving Yellowstone volcanism. The match include, notwithstanding, that further research is required into why Yellowstone exists where it does. The match proposes the Yellowstone tuft could be held set up by a bit of the Pacific Substantial Low Shear Speed Region, or Superplume. Another speculation is that Yellowstone's tuft is simply warm, creating from the CMB. At long last, the match presumed that present worldwide domography, making cross segments of strong items utilizing X beams or ultrasound, models can't catch thin warm crests like the and underneath Yellowstone enough. They offer their examination as a model for additionally ponders, 